Hey folks, I'm Chris Brenton, and in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the architecture for Rita, specifically how you're going to want to go through and deploy it. This can be on-prem, this can be cloud, I can talk about some of the differences between the two when we get towards the end. But we've got a couple of different options. Rita needs to be able to see all the traffic going to and from the internet from the systems that you want to be able to protect. So for a typical on-prem type of situation, I would might have my systems sitting behind a firewall. So I'd want to be able to go in and do my monitoring at this point here. Why here versus outside the firewall? Well, outside the firewall, everything's usually natted. So I can't see the true IP addresses of that in, of the internal systems. You kind of want to see that. You know, if I have a system that looks like it's it's been infected with malware that has command and controls running on it, I don't want to have to try and run down which one of those systems it is. So monitoring on the inside is going to help with that. If I'm in a cloud environment, this gets a little trickier. If I can go in and set things up to go through a, a virtual machine firewall that's running Linux and I can install Reader and Zeek on it, I'm going to be in pretty good shape. Amazon, you know, a few others gives you that type of capability. You can do that with DigitalOcean. Uh, some of them, it might be a little bit more challenging, like Azure. Uh, Azure really doesn't show you a whole lot of what's going on in the network, which is kind of a shame. Again, for a cloud environment, it's going to kind of come down to what is that public cloud provider giving you for tools? Two different ways we can go through and we can deploy this. With option B, right, let's start with the second option first because that's the easiest. If I have a Linux-based firewall and I can install the, uh, Rita and Zeek on that firewall, I can just tell Zeek to monitor this internal interface and bang, I'm done. I can do everything on that one box. If I can't modify this or if I don't want to run those tools on my firewall, I'm going to need another system with two interfaces on it. One interface is going to be used to communicate with that system. The other interface is going to be used to sniff the traffic going to the internal interface of the firewall. So I would go into my manage switch and I would set up a, a copy port, a span port, you know, whatever lingo your vendor uses. But basically what I want to tell the manage switch is, hey, any traffic going in and out of this inter internal interface of the firewall send a copy of all of those packets down this port as well, which will go to that secondary interface on our box here. Now I go in, I install Reader and Zeek onto that box. I tell Zeek I want to listen on this interface. It'll see all the traffic going to and from the firewall's interface. I'm able to go through and do my monitoring at, point, at that point there. So in a nutshell, that's your architecture. Catch you in another video.